Okay, guys. Oh, wow. This actually makes me look good. Cool. I think I'm going to wear it more often. Okay, so you've probably guessed uh, from the title. This is me six years since basically the time that I came out. So I came out in my junior year of high school and I did it towards the end only because, you know, everybody in high school, you know, some little secret, some little something gets spread around like wildfire. So I decided to myself, what's the easiest way to, you know, get out and be out and, you know, not having to do a lot of work to tell every single person. So honestly, I just told a couple of people and just like I thought <laughs> by the beginning of senior year, everybody knew. And honestly, this high school I went to was like, you know, pretty progressive. It was in Austin, Texas, so a very liberal city. And honestly, nobody had an issue with it, you know? And if they did, they never said anything and or, and or they never bothered me. So that's the way I like it. So, I mean, I appreciated it. Um, but, you know, when I came out to some of my friends, uh, I think there were like one or two that, you know, weren't okay with it because, you know, they were religious or whatnot. And, you know, they were Catholic or Christian. Um, and honestly, whenever they said, you know, like, hey, we're not, or I'm not comfortable, or like, you know, that's a sin, I was like, okay, cool. And I just never talked to them again. So, you know, something that I looked at uh, way back when is those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. And honestly, true words have never been spoken. So if you need something uplifting, there's your quote. Coming out to my friends was like a very, very easy part. Because I definitely knew some of them were going to be okay with it, or at least most of them, and, you know, almost 99% of them were. One of the most difficult things about coming out was, you know, telling my parents, because, you know, we came from, like, a very uh, Hispanic, religious, uh, conservative family. And it wasn't necessarily that they were, you know, like, close-minded or anything, but, you know, I just lived in fear that, you know, uh, I feel like I said you know a lot. Okay. Uh, I just lived in fear that me telling them about, you know, a part of me, not necessarily all of me, but just a part of me would, you know, push them to, I don't know, disown me, you know, like, I don't know, be mad at me, condemn me and whatnot. And that's just a fear that I live internally. And again, this is one of those things that you need to be in my shoes to actually understand. Because I actually did talk to my parents about this uh, about three weeks ago. Uh, and, you know, they told me like, well, you're kind of making us look like you're, you know, we're conservative and we weren't okay with it. And I explained to them and then like, they got it. It's like, it wasn't that, it was just like me as a person, like I was afraid of coming out to them because I didn't know what their response was going to be. Like there are families that you know, you're like, you know, the moment you tell them like, they can be fine, they might throw like a party or whatnot, but like with my parents, I didn't really know. And that was, you know, kind of based in my own like fear. Um, wow, this actually turned very like sad. Again, this, okay, this is not like a, supposed to be a sad video. This is actually a very happy video because, you know, I came out to them, took them a bit, but you know, they were open about it. You know, they uh, took the time to talk to me about it, to understand it, to, you know, kind of like get more comfortable with it. And, you know, I appreciate it. Like they, honestly, they've been awesome. You know, my mom, dad, uh, my brother, I'm not sure if like all my family knows. Like I put it out there in social media, but again, it's kind of like the, the whole, like if you want to know, you can ask me and I'll tell you. Like, you know, I won't hide it. Uh, but again, if you don't, if you kind of see it, but you don't want to ask, and then, I mean, that's cool too. Like I said, I'm not going to go chasing after them. Now, when I went to college, you know, I joined uh, the Corps of Cadets at Texas A&M. And it was kind of difficult because I didn't know, you know, how people were going to like take it. Because, you know, it, it is a conservative school. It's moving, you know, it's moving <laughs> up, but, you know, again, wasn't sure how everybody would take it. I uh, made some friends in my uh, company. Uh, and honestly, I was very pleasantly surprised that they were fine with it. Like all of them, uh, you know, they were understanding, they were cool about it. Like they didn't treat me any different. And that's just the way I like, like I wanted it to be, you know, like I, for the most part, I could do <laughs> everything that they could do, you know, like, I guess physically. And it was fun, like to this day, I'm like friends with almost all of them. Like we've been trying to keep in touch, uh, especially through everything that's going on right now. And, you know, uh, a couple of them got married. Uh, some of them are going to get married. They're like a second family to me, honestly. And I feel like they're just the type of people, group of people that I can always, you know, uh, fall back on if I ever need like, you know, help, advice, um, if for some reason, 
I wasn't allowed back in the house. Then I have somewhere to turn to. Uh, but yeah, honestly, you know, I know that this isn't the case for everybody. Um, people obviously have different experiences based on their upbringing. Yeah, their upbringing, their parents and families upbringing and like thought process, religious views. And yeah, I mean, for the most part, like I, I feel lucky that, you know, I have so many understanding people in my life. And I think that, you know, whatever position that you're in, like you always have to do what's best for you. Um, you know, people say it all the time. I never believed it before I came out either. And honestly, the hardest thing about coming out is, and this is gonna sound like very like weird to some people maybe. Again, this is like a thing, like you need to live uh, through it in order to understand it is honestly being comfortable with yourself. Like if you can't be comfortable with who you are, like how can you expect other people to be okay slash comfortable slash, you know, accepting of you, if you know, you're not accepting yourself. The reason why I wanted to do this kind of video is because honestly, there are times when I think, wow, if when I was 15, actually, you know, 16, 17, when I was 16, like if you, before I came out, if you had told me that, you know, like, hey, you're gonna come out, you're gonna be cool with it, uh, you're gonna tell your friends, you're gonna tell your family, you're gonna, like, you're not gonna give a shit about anybody who tells you different or they're not okay with it, and you're gonna be like, okay, well, be on your merry way. Like, I would not have believed it. Like me right now, like, you know, the videos that you see, like if you follow my Instagram, which you should, uh, links down below, same with my Snapchat, um, watch my other videos. Oh, by the way, yeah, I got this uh, tank top, like in a previous video that I made with my high school friend. So if you haven't seen that, you should definitely go watch it right now. And obviously things change. So here I am now out and proud, you know, hoping to share this kind of happiness with all of you, honestly. See, okay, now I'm doing all these hand movements, which I told you I was gonna be doing, but before I've been doing it. Again, it kind of went from like happiest to like sad, or not sad, but like, you know, deep, and now it's going happy. I will say though, this whole like, you know, being gay does help because, I mean, doesn't really help. But I just get to hang out with a lot of girls because like, honestly, they're very friendly. For me, they're very easy to talk to. Not like guys. I'm a total dude when it comes to guys, which is very counterproductive if you think about it. Like, sure, I can be friends with girls, but like, why do I need to like, you know, be really friendly and flirty-ish with them when I don't, they're not <laughs> the gender that I am trying to meet. <laughs> oh, actually, this is a perfect opportunity. Okay, my mom is here. If you guys wanna meet her, like a quick little intro to Mama, Mama Aguilar, who's here? I'll scare her. She's gonna get really angry, but then she's gonna like, she might like be like, hey, like, why'd you scare me in Spanish? <laughs> and then she's gonna see the camera. She's like, oh, oh, or that, or she's still gonna get mad because she's not gonna look because she just came back from work. Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, uh, not. I'm not that tall either. Look. I am tall. Look. Okay, you're short and you can go down. I'm like I'm like five inches tall. Go now. down. Go down in it. I'm I'm tall. Oh, Look at that lady. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, there's the, <laughs> this is why I didn't want to show you guys. My mom is very social. She likes to be the center of attention. She. <laughs> um. She's a very social butterfly, and she likes being creative, and like you know, like. She works out, uh, she shows up, she, you know, obviously very pretty. He's like the more lively one of the family. Then after that, I'm like the second, then after that, it's my brother. Actually, no, that's not true. First is mom, then it's me, then it's Max, the dog, then it's my brother, and then it's my dad. I'm more lively than you are. You're always so dead inside. Okay, bye. That's hurtful. That's where I get it from. Kind of. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I told you. She just said like, oh, I'm angry at you. Oh, picture. <laughs> Dang it. This is my mama. This is Mama Aguilar. That's Dr. Max. Mama Aguilar. Hello. No quiero mucho, 
She's, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> yeah, she's very supportive. And I love you. And, oh yeah, when I came out, she cried. Or I cried. She made, no, she made me cry. She basically, like, <laughs> she basically got it out of me. Because I wasn't going to tell her. And then she, like, almost locked me in the car. And it was cold. And she's like, do you have something to tell me? I'm like, um, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> but then she, like, locked me in the car an hour past. And then she basically, like, made me tell her. Yeah. Which wasn't much of a coming out. You ruined my coming out. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my life. No. No, because I was waiting for a long time that you tell me something and you never do it. So I need, I needed to ask. And that's and why I love her. Honestly, if she hadn't asked me, I wouldn't have told her like for like at least another year. Yeah. But it's not, it's not gonna change. I already something. knew that. But I want. She's you know she's saying like she's happier now that or she was happier then and now that she knows because now like. She's like, oh, do you want to get a pedicure? Or do you want to put like face mask on? Yeah. Or do you want me to cut my nails? Or like, do you want to dance with me? Or do you want to... Oh, do you still my underwear? <laughs> that is not true. That is very not true. All right, she's gonna have me food because we're hungry. And then this boy's hungry. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then that boy's hungry. Yeah. You were gonna say? Um, uh, that he never wants to do a TikTok with me. So, please. Share the day. <laughs> Alright, so that was it. As always, don't stress, forget the rest, and just be yourself. And I will catch you guys next week. Hopefully, it's something a little more fun. I need to go out there and spend money and be more social. But I'm gonna turn the camera off because she's looking at me because I think she's actually kind of like annoyed that she did have makeup.